All right, the first tab we're gonna talk about is the control tab, which you will see down here. It's probably gonna be the last tab you're gonna to come to in the workbook when you first get your copy. This is where you're gonna tailor your business with what you need to run it. And there's a lot of flexibility here in the control tab. Let's start here in column D. This is other expenses. This column allows you to add up to 10 categories in the other cost sections of the profit summary tab. Try to make these categories fairly broad and expenses that you incur frequently. You can always create a miscellaneous expense category if you need to. So when you create a new expense category, it will automatically appear in the other cost sections of the profit summary tab, which you will see right here. So anything that you have over there will also appear here as well, and you'll be able to start tracking those expenses. Column J. This is step two you're gonna to need to add expenses. When you add an expense over here in column D type, which will add the tracking and the profit summaries we just showed you, you also need to add the same expense type here in column J. The reason why, this allows you to select expenses a drop down here on the expenses tab when you incur an expense in that category. Long story short, any expense type you add to the other expenses, you'll also need to add it in column J. Column H, these are the platforms that you wish to sell on. You can enter any platform type you want here up to 10. If the platform charges selling fees and you want to track those fees individually each month, you'll also need to enter the platform name followed by the word fees in the col in column J. You can see here we have Amazon fees and eBay fees, for example. This will create a fees entry over on the profit summary tab, which you can track. And it also allows you to choose that platform's fees as a choice on the dropdown on the expenses tab, which is right here, and we'll cover in a separate video. Column H is about the locations for your inventory. This is where you'll need to enter the names you've given to your inventory locations. It could be very simple, such as shelf one, shelf two, or a more complex system, such as AX325Q. Totally up to you. Just enter all these when you first set up the sheet and you can add others as you go. So what you'll do is you'll delete all this data right here and you will add your own system that you have here, whatever it is. After you setting these up, you'll be able to go to the locations tab in column B, which is right here, and you'll be able to select those as drop downs. And then of course you'll also put in the available spots and so on, but we'll cover that in a separate video. So that's all there is to the control tab. It's very short, but very, very important. And if you need to have a start date for when you start selling, you can put that here as well. If you have any questions about this particular tab, leave it down below and I'll be glad to answer them.